okay so let's take a look at heaven package from tidyverse so this package allows you to read and write uh, three different set of files okay so ss file spss file and stata file so these three files i have already stored in one of my directories so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read these files with the help of this heaven package right so if you want these files for say ss sps and stata data reading what you can do is uh, go to one of the principles of eco nomatrix page and basically this is a book and it has fifth edition out so this book has its data files stored online if you check in google you can also get the link here and you go to data files page here you'll find option for our data set ss data set data then excel data definition eview and csv files all of these right here okay now what you can do here is first thing we are going to open our studio so let's open our studio then we'll be installing this heaven package right you can install entire tidyverse if you want but let me clear the console here we are going to type in install packages and then here we are going to type in heaven okay i already have this package installed so i'm not going to hit enter but you should hit enter and let the heaven package install right now once you have this package installed you can check whether it works by typing in library and then heaven you will also find that in auto completion simply hit enter and here you see package heaven was built under our version 4.2 right so this means you have package ready and working now what we can do is we are going to take a look at some of the files so let's see if i want to read ss file first right so if i want to read one of the ss file i have this medical and then tax as these two files with extension ss 7b dat file so what i'm going to do right click then click on rename and then copy this right also i will have to copy this path too so let's go here and type in read then underscore and here you'll find ss file option so all of this is part of heaven as you can see these xpt ss spv sav and you will also find dta file there so let's start with ss first then here within double quotes paste that file name now currently we are not in same directory so we'll have to go to that path so the files will copy this path right so we'll have to repeat this every time we are going to do the file read for ss sav and dta file right so simply paste it here now considering this slash f will be read as different command we will have to do forward slash then here also forward slash and then when we hit enter it should fetch the medical dot sas file as you can see it has 990 rows of data so it will truncate that and we will have to use print and within that bracket we will have to use the number of rows and how much to fetch within that in order to get the data otherwise it will truncate after 10 or so rows of data right so this was for actually your sas file now we have two more files which is sav and dd right so what i can do let me go to edit clear console right now next thing we'll check read underscore 
then we have SAV file, right? You can also have SPSS. If you have SPSS file, you can definitely go and check that. So let's get read underscore SAV file here. Now within my files directory, I will have to check for SAV file. Here you see survey and accident SAV file. So I will just rename, copy the file name, right? Then go back to my R studio within double quotes. I will paste it here. Now within another directory, I will have to copy this directory path. And here, let's paste it here. And like I previously said, I will have to use forward slash and not backward for running this command, right? So if I execute and check the output, here you see again, we have 10 rows of data out of that SAV file. Again, you see, you will have to use that print function along with rows and columns to properly filter out this data and get it up to the number of rows and columns you want. Otherwise, usually our studio will truncate this. So we have seen SAS data, SPSS data. There is one more file which is DTA file that we can check. So we can clear the console now. So clear console. Now let's go and check our DTA file. So let's take a look at DTA file. So we have food and profit size our two files. Right click, rename and pick one of the file names here. Now come back to our studio. Here you will have to type in read underscore DTA, right? And within bracket and double quotes, we'll paste the file name. Now what I can do is I can simply copy the directory path and then we will paste it here. Make sure it's forward slash again, right? When you do forward slash, you will be able to get the output. Make sure to hit enter. And here you see, again, we have like 30 rows of data, but here only 10 rows of data with two columns is in the output. So you'll have to use that print function and filter the output as required, right? So these three functions, we see read underscore SAS file, SAV file and DTA file, right? Similarly, what we can do is we can clear the console, right? Now we have few write functions as well. So say we have a data frame, right? So we have our data frame name medical and I want to output that to a SAS file. So what I will do is I will use a write underscore SAS, right? And then within that function, I will have to use my data frame or whatever the variable we have. And then we'll have to use path, let's say D. And then after that, we will type in medical dot SA7B dat. So this is the file that file extension we use for storing SAS data right now we can take a look at SPSS SAV data so for that let's see this time we have this survey and survey data I want to get into SAV file so what I will do is write underscore SAV as you can see this is part of human package and here Again, we will have to use survey as our data source and then storing this in, let's say D, then forward slash, let's say survey dot SAV. Now that data from our survey variable or whatever data frame it is, it will be copied into survey dot SAV, right? So you manage to get that, right? Now the next thing that we can do here is we can also do this for 
that file so right underscore dta so here let's say i have that recent file which is food uh, where we got and done the processing for that of uh, food variables right and i want that data frame or simply variable containing all that data to store the food into dta file so food dot dta and i want this to be stored in the food dta right so we managed to store three different files which is that one of the medical dot ss file then service save then food dta so this heaven package allows you to read and write these file formats right so basically when you are dealing with um, various sas and save sav which is spss and also stata data then you will be making use of this package